Gentlemen, this is Keith from Airpair Autos. Today I'm going to be doing and I'm breaking away from the norm. It's not a Mercedes video, but don't click away. Stay tuned. Keep watching it. It's my daily commuter, TDI Beetle. Yes, I drive a TDI. And I'm going to be doing the brake pad. They need to be done. They're way overdue. So, to all my Volkswagen peeps out there, here is something for you. Hey, so before we get started, I know you've been meaning to subscribe. And by doing so, and sharing and thumbsing up the video. You push it up in the search engine's results for YouTube, which makes it easier to find for other Mercedes users and they can benefit from it too. So do that now. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks. I'm gonna start by pulling these off. using the tool that it came with. Before I jack the car up, I'm going to just loosen the lug nuts. All right, the car is jacked up. So looking at the caliper, so we're going to remove this 13 millimeter bolt here, 13 millimeter bolt there, has a 19 millimeter square bracket there that we're going to have to hold on to. So let's get started by taking that off. Do the same for the top. Next, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver, like so, put it in here, and uh, pry out the caliper. I'm going to just rest it here, like that. So then to get, to get the brake pad out, you would then slide it out. Pop that side off, and you pop the other side off the same way. So when you're pressing in a caliper, on a Volkswagen, it has to be turned while pressed. So we're gonna use this tool, this brake caliper tool set with the right size. Um, so under the hood, gonna come behind this battery and down in between here is the brake reservoir. I'm just gonna spin that off, open it like that. And uh, that's just to allow it to breathe while we pump it back up. So if you look at the caliper uh, piston, it has two holes. So we're gonna take out the fitting that has two holes and it has to fit diameter. And we line it up and we put it in place. Okay, turns the piston as it presses it back in place. And we want to do this slowly. Okay. And they just slide right in. That's that side. And then the twist. The, the opposite side has the same notches. You slide it in place like that. Boom. Then you take your caliper. You slide it in place. Take your 13 millimeter bolts. What's left to do is just tighten up those two bolts. 13, the 19 backing. Down below 13 with the 19 backing. As always everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, 
do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.